Hey there, my reality junkies. Have you ever wondered what happens when you take 10 of the most notorious reality TV villains and put them all in the same house? To house of villains. I am sure it's a recipe of disaster, drama, and devilish fun. This is Fleek Reality giving you the most insane reality to hit your screens. So buckle up, folks, because you're about to witness an explosive combination of chaos, drama, and pure entertainment. Imagine, if you will, a house filled to the brim with some of the most notorious and outrageous personalities. It's like a reality villain convention. We got Johnny Fairplay from Survivor, Tiffany, aka New York, from Flavor of Love, I Love New York, Johnny Banana from MTV's The Challenge, Corinne from The Bachelor, Bobby Lights from Love and Hip Hop, Shake from Love is Blind, Tanisha from The Bad Girls Club, Jax from Vanderpump Rules, Afiza from 90 Day Fiance, and the infamous Amarosa from The Apprentice. Yeah, it's about to go down. These reality TV villains collide in an epic battle for the ultimate prize, $200,000. It's like watching your favorite soap opera on steroids with a side of evil genius and a sprinkle of insanity. Anyway, in the house of villains, these 10 iconic reality TV villains compete to lie, cheat, and backstab each other. But hey, it's not all just evil lies and villainous plots. These villains are also facing some wild challenges along the way. From scandalous secrets to physical games, it's a recipe for disaster that's sure to leave you on the edge of your seat. But first, once all the villains entered the house, it didn't take long for Omarosa to dig her fangs into someone. What's nice your to name? You. Um, Google. It'll help you. Oh, what, what that means? Let me go. Uh, I just gotta. There's some libations and snack. I am sure the bachelor wasn't this cutthroat. It's only the first day and we are seeing tears. I mean, everyone knows to tread lightly around Omarosa, right? We've all seen her in action and she is crazy. It appears that Corinne is definitely not getting any roses from Omarosa today. The first to cry is the first to fry. You know the rules of reality TV? She gotta go. And even though we have a bad girl turned good, they may still have to watch out. You know what I call that? I call that trying way too f***ing hard. Oh, so have a great f***ing day, bitch. Not only they are living in their own villain lair, they also have their own henchmen, whether a uh, henchwoman. I am Eva, and I will be helping you on this journey. Hi! Please report to the back. Then we meet our host, um, Carson Daly. Oh, it's him! It's Carson Daly! It's Carson, is it? Is his name Carson Daly? Hey. Come on out, guys. Good thing that knowing the host's name wasn't part of the competition. How dare you? <laughs> Wait, what's his name? Joe McHale. Oh, Joe McHale. Yeah, yeah. Bobby, don't You're a comedian. Try. Maybe reintroducing yourself in a fancy car will make someone remember who you are. Then we find out that no matter how disliked you can be, these people have agents. <laughs> We also learned that the winner of each competition will be crowned Super Villain of the Week and be immune from the next elimination. Also, they get to select three villains to be on the hit list. And from that list, one of them will leave the House of Villains. Not only that, but they also get a luxury reward shared with two villains of their choosing. But most importantly, at the end of the show, as America's great super villain and walk out of here with $200,000 in cash. <laughs> Let the evil games begin, and Johnny is ready. You either die a hero or you live long enough to become a villain. And um, I plan on living forever. We get into our first challenge competition. The villains are all dressed up in their sports gear, and they even have their names on the back. What we can see, even villains need to be held sometimes. You guys just group hug and tell you warm up. And oh, I'm yeah, kidding, I'm kidding. That. Stop touching each other, you're villains. In a game called Balls Out, inside an arena, each villain will have a giant ball with their face on it. They will have to push each other's balls outside the arena while trying to keep their own ball safe. Once their ball falls outside the arena, they are eliminated from the challenge, but they are still able to push other balls out. The villain with their ball last remaining wins the challenge. I do have to say, this challenge may get messy. Be very careful in this challenge because whose ball you target uh, is going to say a lot about who you're working with and who you're working against. Everybody in position. As we begin, Omarosa is standing back like the diva she is while everyone else fights it out. And it appears everyone is gunning for everyone else but her. One by one, we watch villains get eliminated, but it didn't stop someone from their own intermission break. First time in the game, balls out, where someone did take their balls out and relieve themselves. Did you wash your hands, you disgusting animal? 
Hell no. But at the end, there could only be one, and doing what she does best, Omarosa broker herself a win. You have my You're word. Not, I'm not gonna be one of the three. You I'm... have my word. I don't think there's any bigger opportunity. And just like that, Omarosa is the first super villain of the season. You better come through. Wow, look at that. What a game. Incredible. Now, whoever the three Omarosa chooses for the hit list, they will have to compete and the winner will be taken off the hit list, leaving the other two up for banishment by the votes of the other villains. Later, we see no matter if it's wee early in the morning, Omarosa always keep her claws out. Shake, who do you want to go home? I'm thinking about it, I just woke up. Let me have this coffee. And uh, if you think too long, it might be you. <laughs> oh, God. Before Omarosa picks who will be up for the hit list, as this week's supervillain, she gets to choose who she wants to pamper first. And she chooses Tanisha and Bobby. The ones who gossip and always are in the mix. And I want to get intel from them as I go into the first hitless ceremony. And I'm not even playing. Even I'm terrified of her. And for their getaway, the three get the spa treatment at Burke Williams Spa. Every villain needs their pampering. Absolutely. Hi, Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Burke Williams. While discussing strategy, Omarosa gives notice that no one is safe from her clutches, even one she makes deals with. Omarosa right now is in her true villain behavior. She is not here to play around right now. Man, I know Trump is proud. It's time for the hit list ceremony that is taking place in a real villain secret lair. This is awesome. Hello, villains, and welcome. Once on the throne, we found out that Omarosa chooses Corinne. People to Google you, but I can't relate. Shake. I need to get my mind right. I can't play this game like this anymore. Things are getting real. And Jax. This is war. It's time to get back to work. But the first show in the books, who will survive and who will go home? Who do you think will be crowned the ultimate villain this season and walk away with that jaw-dropping $200,000 prize? And let's not forget about their secret alliances. You never know who's plotting with whom and who's going to end up stabbing their own team member in the back. The alliances may shift, the strategies may change, but the drama? Oh, the drama is always guaranteed in the house of villains. Tune in next week for another Fleek Reality Recap. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us for all the villainous action. Till next time, take care.